<laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to Ark Knights. Sorry I haven't been playing, recording in a while. Anything in a while, actually. Life, <laughs> that's all I can really say. I started school last week and it was hard to post while well on my first week of school. And then the ear infection just never went away. I, I'm still, like, my ear still hurts every once in a while, even though it's healed. I don't know what happened, but that sucks. But, hey, we're past that now. So, I'd like to say sorry for the distance between episodes. It's just how life happens. I'm just gonna do Break the Ice, I think. Um, I missed this event. I completely missed it. I wasn't able to get on the game at all during that time. So, I don't know what even happened during that event. So, without further ado, let's get back into Break the Ice. Um, I watched a couple of the videos to get, like, caught back up on the story a little bit. I, I don't know how much of my, my brain will remember, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, let's get into it. It's only Matterhorn. Oh, it's a training. Okay, duh. These special enemies are particularly dangerous. We absolutely cannot let them through. I feel like we were in a bit of a rough storm. The penetrating cold that comes with the snowstorm will push enemies in a certain direction. We might be able to work some wonders if we can coordinate this effect with the terrain. Hmm? The direction of the wind might let us use the pitfalls here to secure our victory. But what direction is the wind going in? Oh. It's not going to let me know. Oh, just up. Get fucked. <laughs> All is ready. The special type of icy surface is called an ice corner and can change the direction an enemy moves when affected by shift effect. Oh, so if they hit this corner, it's like a, they, they're like a golf ball. They just go around the corner. Okay. Take advantage of the terrain to gain the upper hand when fighting tough enemies. You guys think you're worth my full strength? Who the hell are you, wild mane? Okay, let's get to the point. My shield is ready. Okay. Um. I shall be your vet. I'm not just here for show. Piercing through. Cool. And because she's standing on snow, she won't get frozen. Cool. Okay. Their strikes can barely tickle me. The leader of men knelt before Karagander and offered her the highest regard, thus asked. These lands are no longer masterless. All who live on these lands worship and revere your holiness. And so, please tell us, what is our name? And Karagander answered, I have a name for thee. From this day, these lands shall be called Karag, and thou shalt be known as the children of Karag. Karagander, page two. It didn't, like, fade in. It just, like... <laughs> Sir Arctos? I'm here! Your orders, is Great Sanctus? No need to be so tense, Sir Arctos. I don't eat people. This is the first time you are participating in the Holy Hunt yourself, Sanctus. I am not the only one. Take a look at the workers around us. With you gracing our presence, we are all tense, eager to put on our best show. As the Sanctus, I believe participating in the Holy Hunt with the warriors of Karagander is my rightful duty. You make a fine point. Let's not talk about me. It seems something has been on your mind since the hunt began. If there is anything you would like to ask, please don't hesitate. <laughs> I guess I wasn't going to fool the Saintus. If you don't mind, you can think of me as a friend. And I too will think of you as a friend. Great Saintus. In my heart, I see you as a friend, Great Saintus. In that case, let's us talk as friends. Very well then. I may speak my mind. I know 
I want to know your thoughts on the whole transfer of powers affair. How straightforward. We are friends, after all. When it comes to battle, the Pile of Roaches are no less impressive than the Brown Tails and the Silver Ashes. In Subterfuge, though, we're no match for them. Hiding machinations and manipulating others. It's not my style. You are right. However, my friend, you'll have to forgive me. Before I answer your question, I must first make sure of something. Please, go on. Sir Arctaz, you are a brave, loyal warrior. I know you as a frank, straightforward individual, but I also know you nonetheless give your matters due consideration. You say friends should not hide anything from one another. Let me be honest and get to the point. I would like to know why you have been so staunchly against Enciode's plan to open up to the outside world. I'm a ruffian, Sanctus. It doesn't matter how much Enciode boasts about his so-called opening up and how attractive it all is. I don't care about the windbaggery and lip service. All I care about is what he brings. And I see him bringing waves of unfaithful <laughs> foreigners gushing into our homes. The destruction of our lands and the mountains in the name of expansion. The children of Karagon are losing their faith after working in his territory. Things he brings to Karag are convenient. He rakes in lots of money and has built many big houses back many big houses on the back of it. I know all of that. But if everyone takes after him and casts aside faith in the name of prosperity, what will become of our lands? Karagondor ordered the Polaroshes to protect Karag, and as such, I, Arctaz, will not allow anyone to bring, in, bring it to ruin however they try. Now I understand how you feel, Sir Arctaz. In that case, it's time for me to answer your question too. Sir Encios proposed to turn over all his core lands to me. It was so sudden that it caught me by surprise. So you didn't know beforehand? Indeed. Never expected him to make such a suggestion. But... I don't claim to know un to know understand <laughs> Sir Encios' <laughs> thoughts. Okay, that one really threw me off hard. I don't claim to know understand Sir Encios' thought process. And he and how he arrived at the idea of turning all the powers over to me. However, if we look at the outcome, I don't think it's that bad of a turn of events. You mean, in the Vine Bear Court, I watch the masses pray to Karagondor day in and day out. There is one thing that I understand better than Sir Encio's, and that's the fact that Karag has not yet lost its faith. I suppose, now that this decision has been made, whatever happens from here won't be so easily influenced by any one person. The unexpected always comes to pass, no? If Sir Encios hasn't, fuck, hasn't thought of this before, then I must have thought too highly of him. Fine, whatever the case for everything else, I trust your word on this. To tell you the truth, Greg Satis, up until now, up until you just spoke, the conversation made me feel as though I had been talking to someone entirely other than the Saintus. I guess I must be overthinking it. I'm saddened to hear how you feel about our conversation. But I will never deny that Silver Ash is my name too. However, when I became the Saintus, I separated from the secular world. The secular world? It was the same Terencios who stripped my name of meaning. Brain Saintus. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we held the beast back any longer, huh? All hands, get ready to hunt. Pop garp. <laughs> Pop dart. Saintus portraits, Saintus embroideries, Saintus sculptures. The simple of Carrick faith. What are you waiting for? Bring Carrick Honor's blessings home with you. Oh, it's the doctor. I wonder how things are going with Shark. Hmm. What a huge crowd. Hey! Indescribable shrieking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your hands are so cold. Woke you up, huh? What are you spacing out for? You've been standing there, not moving an inch. Oh, did that scare you? Scared me shitless. <laughs> you seem fine to me. What are you looking at? 
Did you catch the holy hunt ceremony? Even the Sanctus is joining the hunt this time. Everyone's here. <laughs> Everyone here's been looking forward to it. How did the ceremony come about? You don't seem all that excited to me. Anything fun you'd recommend? Uh, you don't seem too excited. Hmm. Has anyone ever told you you're pretty sharp? It's true that I get to leave all my work behind at the court and enjoy the festivities out here, but I feel bad whenever I think about how much work the Sanctus has. None of which I can help with in any way. Besides, oh whatever, it's a festival. Let's not talk about that. Sorry, my dogs are barking right now. Their neighbors probably just went outside or something. Come, let me show you around. This season every year, the devotees who teach and study at the academy come back to the Vine Bear Court to preach and give lessons about Karagandu. Let's have a listen. A millennium ago, our forebears... <laughs> our forebears angered Karagander. She vowed to never again protect Karag, and a harsh winter befell our lands. Every year to calm her fury, the Vine Bear Court kicked the girl with the purest soul to head skyward towards the mountaintop, carrying a bell that represents her, until the young maiden sacrificed her soul to her. When she heard the cries of the 100th girl, Karagander at long last forgave the people of Karag and the cruel winters came to an end. That was how Kerrig's Sir Sanctus came to be. This again, huh? Right, I read a different version of this story in the Vine Bear Court's text. A different version? Every year, to calm Kerrigander's fury, Kerrig chose a girl to be its Sanctus, who was to sit atop Mount Carlin and pray until her death. Kerrigander is said to have appeared before the masses as a young girl, so everyone believed that a maiden's pure soul could reach her and beckon her back to us. This ritual continued for almost a hundred years. Over time, the people gradually turned against these unreciprocated rituals. It was a rebellion against the Vine Bear Court, led by a small clan leader whose daughter was chosen to be the Sanctus. Many of the Vine Bear Court's buildings were leveled, and many of its texts, kept since ancient times, were destroyed. Ever since, the Vine Bear Court's understanding of its past has been wildly off the mark. And the most dramatic thing about this turn of events is that the Saintus still climbed to the top of Mount Carlin that year, and Karagander regained her strength after centuries-long slumber. Hearing the prayers of the Saintus, she awakened. The signs of her awakening were so obvious that the people immediately noticed. The resistance against the Vine Bear Court came to a close just like that. That was a lot more realistic. <laughs> Sounds like something you saw with your own eyes. No, no, not at all. <laughs> I only found the scripture at the court by chance. It might be a record left behind by someone who was actually there. It could also be nothing more than pure nonsense. After all, Carrig's snowy mounts were known to swallow men whole. I mean, yeah, avalanches and everything, and so cold and... Who is this character? Valace. Okay. Sir. A large group of beasts have been spotted up ahead. Those beasts are unusually brutal. They're attacking our soldiers at the front right now. They've just, they're just beasts. There's nothing to be afraid of. All of you, stay here and protect the Saintus. Keep your formation and do not panic. We'll lay. You stay here too. Everyone else, come with me. We'll head back. We'll head back up. Our, we'll back up our brothers up ahead. My brain. So my brain does this weird thing where it's. It, like, reads something later in the sentence and then, like, switches the places of the words sometimes. All at the same time, so it's not even, like... I don't know. It's weird. Uh, Sir Arctaz, wait. It's just, like, I get ahead of myself. So, like, I'm reading. My brain is re reading faster than my mouth can keep up. So then it, like, switches words and says ahead before it says back up. It's, it's, I don't know why. It's something I've noticed, though, since I was a kid. <laughs> Great Saintus. I will come with you. But Great Saintus, your safety. Valais is right. Your safety is what's most important here. Please wait for us here. What? Please wait for us here. The Apollo Roast Warriors will protect you. I, wait up, Arctaz. Rotados? What are you doing here? I thought the Brown Tails and the Silver Ashes were supposed to take their hunts elsewhere. Silver Ashes have already left, but something doesn't seem right about all of this. I was going to come give you a heads up before we split, but looks like there's no need to anymore. 
What do you mean by that? You mean the unusual pack of beasts up ahead, Madame Rotatos? Fine observation, great saintess. I don't know the specifics, but I have a bad feeling about this. I only hope that no one is trying to pull anything funny during an occasion as dignified as the Holy Hunt, let alone putting on a show. Anyway, we should be more careful. For the first time ever, the saintess is personally gracing us with her presence during a hunt. You're exaggerating things, Madame Rotatos. You do have a point, though. Since I am here, I must stand alongside our brave warriors, instead of cowering in the face of danger. Please, the situation is urgent. Let us talk on the way. Well then, how fortunate is Carrick to have that you feel this way, Grain Sanctus. I won't stop you. Valet, lead the way. Yes, sir. Why aren't you here yet, Monch? The Sanctus... Ugh. The Saintist doesn't personally join the hunt every year, every day. We have to seize the opportunity to take care of as many beasts in front of her as we can. But what if we hurt the Saintist in my accident? Ah, uh, whatever. It's not like that bitch Rotados would do anything. Worst case, I'll own up to it. You must take this chance, Munch. Munch. Om nom nom. Mm, camera's more than normal. How can these beasts be so fearless? This definitely isn't normal. Here, I thought the beasts in the mountains were scared stiff by the Saintus joining us. Looks like things aren't that simple. Because the Saintus isn't really all that. Watch your mouth. The Saintus isn't for you to discuss so nonchalantly. Think about it. What will happen if Sir Hartos catches you complaining? Fine, fine. I get it. You chew me out of the earth. I mean, these beasts are going to eat you, so... As long as you know... Wait, watch your behind! You're going for his behind. Get down! A silver arc of light pierces the raging snowstorm before the beast is able to let out a chilling cry. With the beast's icy fangs mere inches away, its warm, stinking blood is splattered all over the warrior's face. Slowly, the Carrig Saintess sets her hand down from her bowstring as she walks toward the source of the commotion. Just as the text described, she is accompanied by both brown tail and polyrosh fighters. She is the Karagander's vicar, Vicar, on Terra. She is Karagander's supreme emissary on the mountaintop. The girl walks forward. Even the snowfall comes to a halt in her presence. Are you hurt? The, the Saintus! The danger is yet to pass. Stand up, young warrior. Warriors of Karagander, raise your weapons. Join me in fending off the beasts and completing the challenge posed to us by Karagander. Yes! For, for the Sanctus! For the Sanctus! It's crazy music, too. Oh, I originally put off this event in particular because it got, uh... The YouTube AI oh, auto-copyright Where did I video. leave my ammunition belt? <laughs> so, like, I posted the video and it had no problems. And then, like, a day later, it suddenly got copyright struck by YouTube's auto AI detector thing. So that was really annoying to deal with. Cause it wasn't even like a person that like did anything. It was YouTube. Getting shot hurts, you know? Oh, uh, I'm kinda, oh. Oh, right, okay. Okay, you stay oh, there it's... for now, just. Um. You there. Can your eyes keep up? Ah, it's them again. I mean, honestly... Gaviel here might not be bad. Ready to heal! Wow. Shooting star, that's what they say. It's honestly okay if she dies, because uh creating someone a little stronger right How there. How soon do you want them gone? So let's, here. let's begin! Come on, get it together! Damn. Alright, okay, yeah, I should just get a uh, Shaw. I forgot to play Shaw on the team, so. It's fine. Let's get out of here first. Here, this way, hurry. Okay. 
If I play Shaw there, I'm gonna play Shaw there pointing downwards, and I'm gonna place uh Maybe Degenbrecker there facing right and then Flametail there facing left. Uh go. Um putting Let's get Shaw. Already. And what's my Shaw's ability level? Moderately? Eh, that should be good enough. Already. Should be good enough for what I need at least. Oh, I thought it was like opening the reading part again. That was a big fucking wasp that just flew by my window. Please take good care of yourself while I'm gone. Waiting for further instructions. Uh-huh. How's that? I'm gonna place flame tail first. A new challenge. You know she won't be. You have violated the fire regulation. Oh, that's not enough. Ah, when they're frozen, it's enough though. Losing sight? I placed her second, so why are they focusing her though? You have violated the fire regulation. Feels fresh every time when someone gives me orders. You can go do something else. Cut! Who needs healing? Come over! I won't be afraid. Shit. I was gonna place her next. I should have placed her. Speeding up! Whatever. Alright, let's level up my Shaw a little. I think I should, uh, skill her up. Darn it. Too bad some people just can't live and let live. Coming! New challenge. is a battlefield. Out of the way! Out of the way! Come on! Let's pick up the pace! Someone gives me orders. You can go do something else. Yeah, that Shaw is better. Yeah. Yes? Stay calm, my friend. It's safe here! Rock and roll! Of course there are comic cons. Still mulling you know things over, Dr. Fuck Perfect. You. Emotion is meaningless here. <laughs> <laughs> the overkill. <laughs> I cast fuck you! <laughs> She's so strong. Are all the preparations in place? Yes. Cernosis, may I ask you a question? Now, this is rare. This might be the first time you've asked me anything. Go ahead. If I may be so bold, I'm afraid that the brown tails might get caught up in the investigation that follows. If we go through with our plan, I'm just worried that now that you the brown tails have formed an alliance, 
Would it be detrimental to your plan if anything should happen to the brown tails? I've considered that, but it doesn't matter. What becomes of the brown tails isn't important. This is a rare opportunity, and I do not want it to go to waste. At the same time, I hope you'll know to save your own skin. Should worst come to pass, you needn't think about the brown tails. I know NCODs. If your testimony is useful to him, he won't harm you. At least for the time being. And when the time comes, I will send men to ensure your safety. Strenosis, I... What's the matter? If you... If you're having any second thoughts, we can bring others to execute this plan in your stead. No, please let me do it. Whatever your orders, Strenosis, your wish is my command. What is he up to, man? He's evil. I'm taking care of all the beasts now. Some of the youngins got a few scratches here and there, but nothing major at all. It's all thanks to you, Great Safest. I haven't done anything. Rather, all of you are admirably demonstrated your courage in battle. I am sure Karagander is proud of all of you, her soldiers. Y y you flatter us. Great Satis. Hmm? You're the one from earlier. Right, it's me. Thank you for saving my life just now. Brain Satis, that was far too risky. Nonetheless, I have to thank you for saving this runt. We are all children of Karagander, and it's not only natural for me to save one of my own. Brain Satis, that was truly a fine shot. I didn't know you were such a capable archer. The Saintus just, the Saintus must be able to protect the people of the Snow Realm. This is hardly worth mentioning. You're too humble. With your shot just now, your marksmanship most definitely rivals even the, even that of Kiarik's finest archers. Wow. For the Saintus being able to shoot that well? Great Saintus, Sir Arctas, Madame Rotatus, th this is bad. What are you babbling about? How is this any of this bad? You're one of the Silver Ashes? What's the matter? Don't tell me you were ambushed by beasts and NCOs looking for our help. No, not beasts. Then what is it? Out with it. Yes, Sir NCO was um, ambushed by an assassin. What did you just say? NCOs was ambushed. Somebody so bold to make a move on him during the Holy Hunt? Half of you, stay here to protect the Saintists. Stay alert. The rest of you, come with me. Wait, Arctas, are you out of your mind? What are you doing? Are you going to his aid? Before we even mention whether NCO really needs it or not, consider the considering the circumstances, have you really thought it through? There's nothing to think it through, Rotados. You know what I know what you are thinking, but it doesn't matter to me one bit whether NCO is really turning over a new leaf or is just putting on a show. I, Arctas, won't permit anyone to make trouble during the holy hunt. Generation after generation, my family has sworn to defend Karak. And that includes the integrity of the Holy Hunt. Can't keep your cool, can you? Whatever. Let's see where this kindness of yours will get us. NCOs. She cares for her brother. Transios, you're bleeding. Are you hurt? I'm fine. No need to panic. But you're injured. It's nothing major. Fine. Stealth techniques, you caught me unaware. Though, I suppose it was careless of me to assume no one would make trouble during the Holy Hunt. What's the matter? Not going to show yourself? If you had the courage to do this on such an occasion, surely you knew what a great disrespect it was to Karagander. Come now, did you not consider this? You can stop taunting me. If I'm brave enough to do this, of course I've considered the consequences. NCOs. If I don't make it out of these hunting grounds today, you're coming down with me. Looks like you're truly determined. That goes without saying. NCOs, you act like a devout follower, but you don't have even the tiniest bit of veneration for Karagander. All of us can see the damage you brought to Karag. It's not often that someone says so much as much to me right outright. There aren't that many in Karag who, can, who bear such a grudge against me these days, after all. For you to criticize me like that, I must have done something to harm your profits. Or perhaps you are truly devout, even radical follower. No, which is it? You think I'd just tell you? Serencios, watch out! On my way! Regrettable. You had these berserk beasts prepared in advance, didn't you? I don't have many guards accompanying me during the holy hunt, and it's indeed a good chance to strike while they are preoccupied. Yet, looks like you wasted your one chance. Are you mocking me? 
you are hurt. It doesn't matter how lightly you make your, out your injuries. You can't fool me. Your movement is starting to get sluggish, isn't it? I just have to land one more hit, and despite the circumstances, now that we're facing off in the open, how confident are you in landing a fatal shot? Let's find out, shall we? Bing! Damn it, you can block arrows with that cane? Are you screwing with me? Please don't get the wrong idea. It is not my intention to look down on you. You came well prepared, and you have an excellent plan. However, all plans must must face all plans must face be put into motion. <laughs> okay, and they rarely survive contact with the enemy. My hope is that everything can be solved by diplomacy. But one of my companions possesses one of my companions possesses exactly that level of violence thanks to her i understand violent people well <laughs> what are you talking about still not showing your true face or am i mistaken megan brecker oh that's hilarious it's a little hard to slice through an arrow after all you but that's just part of the job sir Enciodes. so will you two keep the fight up that is not for me to decide Giving up is the best course of action here. At the very least, no one, lives will be lost. You can drop the kind act. It disgusts me. You want to get information from me, don't you? You want to know who it is that wants your life. No, I think he can guess there's Gnosis. <laughs> Gnosis. I've considered that, but it doesn't matter. I've considered that, but it doesn't matter. What becomes of the brown tails isn't important. This is a rare opportunity. We cannot let this go to waste. At the same time, I hope you'll know to save your own skin. Should the worst come to pass, you needn't think about the brown tails. I think... I don't... Is this the same thing as earlier? He knows, sir, NCODs. I... It got quiet. Much, much. Where'd you go? Come here. <laughs> come out to... Take a look at my plan. This is one of this one will show Rotados for sure. Oh Monch, I knew you'd have my back. What is I can't breathe for some reason. I know you had my back. Everyone else is always calling me dumb. Ha! They think I don't know. Monch, tell me, do you think I make something I make something of the brown tails? I can, right? Right? Yep, I knew you wouldn't lie to me. Monch. She's feeling bad, betraying her friend. Hmm. I won't let you. Karuba is as swift as always, as though she was leaping across a river, and as though she's leaping off a tree. Hey. <laughs> In an instant, her black figure springs off the ground before falling and disappearing below the cliffs. She leapt off. An unexpected choice. You didn't stop her. That's not part of my mission. You don't seem so surprised either. There aren't many who can properly set up the pieces on the hunting grounds. If we search for evidence, we're bound to find some. Of course, having a witness would have saved us some trouble, though whether the witness is alive or dead doesn't actually matter at all that much. Your underlings are absent. Perhaps they are tied up with the beasts running amok. About that, please be sure to thank the doctor for me. Master! What's the situation? All taken care of. Some of them are men are hurt, but nothing major. I just got the news from Weiss. Sharp, what are you doing here? One mission. Doctor's orders? Did the doctor anticipate this? How did you know it was me? It's not that hard at all. I already told you. I'm very familiar with warriors who can break a deadlock. NCOs, are you all right? Where's the assassin? Arctaz. I never expected to see you here. Perhaps this is important. This is important of the Silver Ash and Tyler Roach just finally burying the hatchet. <laughs> I'm here, but that's not nothing to do with you. I'm only here to flush out the underhanded lowlife who dared to disrupt Karagonder's grand ceremony. They will pay for this. You are truly Karagonder's most faithful, most faithful follower, Arctaz. I'm afraid you came too late, though. What do you mean? You would never let an assassin go. Where are you hiding him? Wait, this cliff. Don't tell me. Exactly, Arctaz. The men will look for any traces of her. Let's continue our hunt. There's blood on the ground. Are you hurt? It's nothing major. Master, 
We must treat your wounds immediately. We must, we must stop the bleeding at least. We're getting back to the hunt. I refuse to ruin Karagandr's ceremony. Send the word out that all is well. Of course. Before everyone's eyes, the young head of the Silver Ash Clan takes a step forward. Snow blows all around him, scattering as he gazes upward. There's not a single scripture that describes such a sight. The patches of red behind him gradually turn fainter in color, before finally leaving nothing but pure white that blends into the mountainous scenery. No one can stop him. No one dares to. NCOs keep walking straight ahead. I mean, Man, those guys were weak. I regret not giving them a few whacks with the staff here. That was so loud. That's funny. This staff looks like a uh, staff I use in a uh, game that I play. <laughs> in uh, Mabi Nogi, actually. Um, I mean, he obviously doesn't completely believe in the Kiargander stuff, but he has his morals and he's following them. <laughs> Even after being shot in this chest or whatever. Okay, more story. A lot more reading for me, which means I'm going to take a drink real quick. What was the name of this one? I don't remember. What? Serencios was attacked on the mountain yesterday? Huh? Is that true? Of course it's true. Sir Arctaz, a general Gulo, rushed people over to report to the Great Elder. The other nephew of the third uncle came back with General Gulo. They arrived just now, and I heard the news from him. What a good lad. Now well, that's some big news. <laughs> but it would be so foolhardy to attack Sir Encios? On his way to the Holy Hunt, no less. You think it could have been the Shigata? How the hell could it have been the Shigata? I... Didn't we already say a person did it? If you ask me, it must have been doing the power rush to the Brown Tails. We tried so hard to suppress the Silver Ashes, saying something about how Sir Encios had trampled upon our teachings. But who knows? Maybe they were really after the Silver Ash Clan's land. I wouldn't go around making spurious claims like that. Spurious? Do you have any idea how much Silver Ash land the Brown Tail Clan gobbled up after Serencio's left Garrick study? Eh, I mean, yeah, it would be a bit suspicious. <laughs> Now that Serencio has had a change of heart and took the initiative to show favor to the Sanctus, the other two clans are panicking because they no longer have an excuse to keep the Silver Ashes down. Well, who, who do you belong to? I'm with the Brown Tail clan, so what? You're a Brown Tail? How are you saying those things about your own clan? Because I've been working down in the valley for so long, I honestly feel that Serencio has been wronged. Serencio has brought so many good things to carry, but has been kept down by the in the tri clan council even now after he is offered to return to the government and take the initiative to repair his relationship with the fine bear court the, and the saintess look how they treat it even if you're a pal roche does that not make your conscious think you you have a point that's right no matter what the circumstances are an attack on serencio is simply going too far besides to do it during a ceremony as important as the Holy Hunt is also a grave insult to Kyargonder. Exactly! No matter what the facts are regarding the situation, there must be some kind of explanation. You said it. That's right. The perpetrator must be found. Well, she dug her own grave. <laughs> What's wrong? Didn't sleep well last night? You don't look so good. Ezio's ended up running into trouble after all. Hmm. Word of it has spread, and everyone's talking about it. I can see that many people are already demanding an explanation for this matter. Judging from the look on your face, did you not expect this at all? It's precisely because I did expect it. Huh? Then what's got you in a twist? Gnosis doesn't see eye to eye with Encios. He's been plotting to overthrow him since they parted ways. You didn't think Encios would leave himself so open, nor did you want to interfere with the affairs of the three clans. So you came to the ceremony as a guest. I'm just talking about superficial appearances here. From that angle, that is how the situation seems, right? Everyone has a skewed understanding of the situation. Not necessarily. I don't have a clue what <laughs> what goes on in the head of yours all day. I feel like you've infected me <laughs> into enjoying things, thinking about these things. So let's do that. Hmm. Since Encios used to be a good friends with Gnosis, 
and we know the latter can to be a crafty man, he must have been prepared for Gnosis' betrayal from the beginning. But he has attacked anyway, and became a pretty big deal. In other words, he engineered <coughs> the situation to become more sympathetic in the eyes of the public? But what exactly does this accomplish? Right now, the Holy Hunt Party should be on its way back. Shortly, the grand ceremony comes to its final ritual, including the ceremonial crowning of the Saintess. If he can catch the perpetrator at the ceremony, that'll increase people's faith in the Nencios, but that's it, right? Actually, there's another possibility. What would that be? You'll find out soon enough. Just a possibility. <laughs> the Saint is shot and killed the prey of herself during the Holy Hunt? Yes. And news of the attack on Encios has already spread among the people? Yes. Not only that, but a number of people are demanding that the perpetrator be punished before the cer coronation ceremony. To injure a countryman during the Holy Hunt is to gravely disrespect Karagondor. Of course this deserves punishment, but this is still the Saintess's coronation ceremony. Both of you bring up a good points. Great Elder, your judgment? I need to plug something in real quick. My mouse died. That was weird. When I plugged in it, when I plugged it in, it my headphones disconnected for a second. If an NCO's superb abilities, there is a the little chance that the mastermind behind this is not will not be stiffed out, regardless of who it is. If only things were that simple. Please do explain, Great Elder. The Saintess's behavior has gone increasingly out of line, yet Encio's response has been quite uncharacteristic. What are these siblings planning? What does the Great Elder mean by those siblings? No, there's no possibility of any collusion between the two. But perhaps it's the silver ash blood that runs through their veins. Everyone, the Elders, the Great Elder, and the Saintess's teams are about to arrive. Enough, let's go meet the Saintess. I don't think she would do anything. Especially saying that they literally keep her locked in the... Locked on the top of the mountain. Like, she can't even, like, talk to people. When she, other than a few occasions. I couldn't skip that. Hurry, it's the Holy Hunt party. Look, Strancio's wounds have been bandaged. Rumor were true after all. Great Saintus, please deliver justice for Strancio's. Find the perpetrators who sabotaged the Holy Hunt. Major Ekratados and Sir Arctos appear ill at ease. Might they be connected to it in it somewhat, some way to this incident? The Great Elder is here. The Vine Bear Court must uphold justice for Sir Anciodes. We won't accept the ceremony if you just try to sweep things under the rug and move on. My friends, I am very grateful for your concern. Though the perpetrator has not been found, it is only a matter of time. For now, let us first prioritize the ceremony. What say you, Saintus? Serenciodes is so faithful to Karagondor, I have no objections. The children of Karagondor know that this year's ceremony holds a different meaning. The proposal by the head of the Silver Ash Clan, Serenciodes, to have the Saintus restored to power passed to the previous Tri Clan Council, and this was announced throughout our territory. And today, on the day of Kiarig's grandest celebration, we hold the coronation ceremony for the Saintus. This will also be the last ceremony that I, Prysorts, preside over. Karagoner gave her own flesh to the Palarosh clan, making the land fertile so that the people of Karag would go hungry no longer. Valet, sir. Or looking in the past. I'm a researcher. Even should I lie, I would never lie about my research. You may distrust the results of my analysis, yet you still hold on to a sample from back then. You can use it as an experiment to verify the things I said. Or are you ready to accept this truth? Do you really believe that your father died for blaspheming... <laughs> blaspheming Karagondor? Belay respectfully brings forth a cup of wine. This cup represents a bountiful harvest. I offer this wine, made from the nourishing grain to Kiragondor, 
so that we may be blessed with a bountiful harvest next year. The great elder receives the wine and drinks it in one gulp. As head of the Palaroche clan, I, Arctaz Palaroche, pay the highest tribute to Karagondor. Her prayers will be surely reach Karagondor. Karagondor gave her own hide in the Brown Tail clan, making the forest lush and full of beasts life. Beast life, so that the pos the people of Karag would no longer succumb to the cold. Yucatan, Patriarch. Yucatan respectfully brings forth a scarf. This scarf represents comfort and good health. I offer this cloth knit from warming fur to Karagander, so that we may be blessed with comfort and good health next year. The Great Elder takes the scarf and drapes it across the Saintus. As head of the Brown Tail Clan, I, Hortados Brown Tail, pay the highest tribute to Karagander. The dogs are barking. <coughs> the dogs are barking again. Prayers will surely reach Karagander. Finally, Karagander gave her bones to the Silver Ash Clan, making the mountains rich with metal so that the people of Karag can forge tools and weapons. Matterhorn, sir. Matterhorn respectfully brings forth a small knife. The small knife represents peace. I offer this weapon of refined ore to Kiergander so that we may be blessed with peace next year. The Great Elder takes the knife and hands it to the Saintus with both hands. As the head of the Silver Ash clan, I, NCO Silver Ash, pay the highest tribute to Kiergander. Your prayers will surely reach Kiergander. Next. Master, the perpetrator has been found. Great Elder. Now that the perpetrator has been found, I know not whether to continue the ceremony or interrogate the perpetrator. Uh-oh. Where'd they find her? She's been hidden with Gnosis this whole time. How did they suddenly find her? The perpetrator must be brought to justice. That's right, the perpetrator must be punished. Since the people worry about this matter, bring the perpetrator. Very well. Come. Yeah, they caught her, all right. <laughs> Munch? What's going on? Why is Munch in custody? Does this have something to do with the assassination attempt? Damn it, that idiot! Wait, Russ. What are you doing? Assassin, who dares disrupt the holy hunt? State your name. Why... <laughs> Would you seek to take Serencio's life? I kill what needs to die. Assassin, keeping your mouth shut will not spare your life. Your sacrilege, ugh, sacrilege against Karagondor during a sacred ceremony is a sin that must be punished accordingly. Know that if you persist, then by the commandments, I can order your execution on the spot. Fine, then you shall be dealt with according to the commandments. She doesn't die though, she's in the next one. <laughs> That's the, that's the unfortunate part about me having to go back for this one without realizing that it was a prequel. Or a, the first one, I guess. Even if you choose not to speak, your identity will not be much... Will not be difficult to just uncover. Wait, hold on! Arius. Cirrus. Cirrus. Yucatan, what are you doing? Let go of me. Monch is one of my people. I won't let you hurt her. Is this true, Cirrus? Cirrus! You get back here this instant! This isn't the time or place to be fooling around. Yucatan, get your wife under control! <laughs> Russ, you don't understand the situation. Let's not make a scene here, alright? Come, over here, by me. What am I not understanding? And I am, I, and I am not making a scene! <laughs> They're all like that. If I didn't speak up, they would have condemned Monch as an assassin. I... Silence! Hurtados, I... Looks like that saves us the trouble of identifying the assassin. Detain Cyrus. W wait, why are you arresting me? I'm telling you I never had much do anything of the sort. Someone must be trying to frame us. Great Elder, surely it cannot... It cannot be appropriate to use force against a member of the Brown Tail Clan solely due to the words of an insignificant person who knows nothing of the situation. As you can see, my stupid little sister could not possibly seek to assassinate Serencios, for she clearly lacks the brain cells to do so. 
Hey, what are you trying to say? I told you to shut up. Cyrus, know your place. What, you mean to say that your sister has been deceived, Rotatos? Do you not find something unusual about that? Very perceptive, Great Alter. <laughs> and see, <laughs> what do you think? He's dying. <laughs> Rotatos has always been treating me kindly, kindly, and I always trusted her. Uh, even if we had our distance differences, I believe she would not resort to such drastic measures. Rotatos, I have no reason to believe you to be of of so little faith as to behave in such a manner during a celebration of Karagander. While my well-being is of little consequence, this dis disrespect to Karagander cannot be tolerated. What do you mean by that? Now that we know that the perpetrator is a member of the Browntail clan, no one will believe the empty rhetoric that the Browntails had nothing to do with this matter. Without providing some concrete evidence or turning over the real perpetrator, even if I am willing to turn the other cheek, I'm afraid that the Brown House of Browntail will be hard pressed to convince the public. So this is all working so much into Sir N like NCO's plan that like Gnosis and him must have talked about it. Like this is like going so perfectly to what he wants that there's no way that he's this is just by chance. Rotatos feels that she can understand the man's meaning, but the busting of those words inside her ears is far too thunderous to bear. The entire ceremony is awash with turmoil. She has never once felt the gaze of the surrounding people in such a way before, full of distrust and hostility, like barbs in her back. Cirrus also seems to be saying something to her, and not in her usual sharp shouts. Her lips are silently quivering. Rotatos can tell from a glance that her voiceless words are. In the past, the two of them played a similar tricks without the notice of adults. Her sister says, but I just wanted to do something for the Browntail clan. Great Elder, what is your opinion? <laughs> your words ring true, Rancio. <laughs> Great Elder, is there something wrong? I'm fine. <laughs> He's poisoned! Not the cat, man! Some green liquid coming out of Great Elder's lips. He's been poisoned! Someone poisoned the Great Elder! Let me see. Stay back, the Sanctus! Stay back, Sanctus! There may be other poison. I'm not afraid. No, the poison is too potent, and it's suppressing my healing arts. I can only barely maintain the Great Elder's life for a while. Who would poison the Great Elder? And when? Wine! It must have been in the cup of wine that Arctaz offered to the Great Elder. Bring the cup. Here it is. Without a doubt, there are traces of poison. That's impossible! So that's your game. Arctaz, I never could have imagined that you would dare to poison the Great Elder in your bid to take over Kyarg. What? What reason would I possibly have to poison the Great Elder? <laughs> the Palaroge clan has always been on good terms with the Vine Bear Court, but you leverage this relationship to gain many privileges throughout Kyarg. The people gathered here are all witnesses to that. Over these years, you have used this privilege to suppress me, something I endure to this day. You have all seen this with your own eyes. And now, even as I have compromised my... I have compromised by proposing to return temporal power to the Saintus. You still have to terrorize the House of Silver Ash. Once the Saintus holds all the power and the three clans are equal under her leadership, will the Polaroche clan still enjoy its privileges as it does now? Perhaps because the Great Elders wasn't the Great Elder was no longer willing to support you, you then chose to contact Madame Sirius, plotting the scheme unfolding before our very eyes. Madame Sirius was responsible for assassinating me. You would poison the Great Elder. The two of you would take advantage of the situation to seize power and care. Not a bad plan, Arctaz. You dare slander me, Enciodes! Slander? It is a fact that your clan is on good terms with the Vine Bear Court. It is a fact that the Brown Tail Clan is now allied with yours. It is a fact that the Elders <coughs> agreed to return temporal power to the Saintus. I, I don't know what's up right now. And as of now, it is a fact that you poisoned the Great Elder. I would ask all you present, all you present, to pass judgment. Am I the one who slanders, or is Arctaz the one who deceives? But Sir Arctaz isn't that kind of person. Serencios was injured during the Holy Hunt, and a brown tail was responsible. Now Arctaz poisoned the Great Elder? What is there to doubt? I can't believe I had such a wrong impression of Arctaz. I never thought he was faking his piety all these years. 
I refuse to believe it. Wake up already. Pin down the murderer and Madam Susan Sirius. Right away. Get your hands off me, you bastard. Sirius, make sure. Wait. Gah. Who's there? Ice arts. And from such a long range? Could it be. Gnosis? Gnosis has fire and explosions, though, I thought. Who is it? Look over there! Warriors, it's time to rescue your clan leader. It's Gnosis. That's Gnosis. Why is he here and why are the brown tails with him? I haven't heard from him since he was blacklisted from Carlin Trade. From the looks of things, he's defected to the brown clip brown tails. NCOs, you've, you've gone to such great lengths to paint yourself as some pious victim. Making your high and mighty proclamations atop the stage of yours. How have you no sense of shame? I was wondering where you were hiding, Gnosis. Turns out it fell in with, you fell in with Rotados. Hiding? No. I've been biding my time for this moment. Rotados, what are you hesitating for? Gnosis, you... Take a good look at the people around you and the distrust they harbor for you in their eyes. Rotados has betrayed Karagonder. She must be punished. Arctos, I thought better of you. Strike them down, Sir Encio. Strike them down. Damn, that escalated. Get a good look at your sister. Hensiodes is about to take her away. Let go! Let go of me! Don't you dare hurt my wife. Hm. I mean, come on. What? Arr, Yukitan! Sirius, Yukitan! Now's your last chance. Hensiodes said that he trusted you, but did he ever actually trust you? You should have seen through this long ago. He's just forcing you to make a decision. But do you really think you can protect your brown tail clan simply by turning over the assassin that he wants? Look around you. See how the people are looking at you? Do you have any idea what will become of your clans once NCO is taken over? I... Matriarch! Rotados, don't tell me that you intend to protect neither your clans, neither the clan or your lands. And instead, will simply relinquish your public image and privileges? You still choose to do nothing, even at this point, then allow me to help you. Pum, 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 pum. Gnosis turns to look at Enciodes. Bah! <laughs> Ice blue arts condense in the palm of his hand, but Enciodes remains unfazed. Gnosis, you disappoint me. What a coincidence, Enciodes. I was just thinking the same thing. Degenbrecker? Gah! I mean, of course she would be nearby, like... You should know these, these arcs are nothing to me. Alright, don't waste my time. Let's put you down, Gnosis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get fucked! <laughs> How pathetic. Pathetic? Even if you strike me down here today, it won't do you any good. You may be able to stop one person, or even a hundred people, but can you stop a thousand? Ten thousand? This is really cool, though. It is cool that it's only showing NCOs in the Saintus, too, though. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's the creepy dude in the weird robe. Actually, that's ironic. Wait. But can you stop a thousand? In the second one, she stops an army of a thousand people. That's ironic. Look behind me. The flames have been lit. Arctaz, what? Do you believe me or NCOs? I don't trust either of you. Then you should at least know very clearly now who the real enemy is. Brown Tail Clan warriors, prepare for battle. First, we rescue Cirrus. Then, bring NCOs to me. Yes, Matriarch. I Finn. Polarosh Warriors, in formation. Take down the traitor. Expose to the masses that NCOs is the real traitor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dagenbrecker, get Gnosis. You don't need me? I don't. All right, Matterhorn. He's asking his four star to fight a five star and a six star. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> 
take care of the Great Elder and the Sanctus. Oh, okay, never mind. Right away. Wise. Another four star. Sir, bring me Arctos and Rotatos. <laughs> yeah, let's see how well that goes. Try to avoid taking any lives. Now isn't the time for that. Understood. The Jakarta. It shall be done. What is she gonna do? Is she gonna intervene? The other possibility seems to have been the correct one. So what was all of that? That was a, all planned by Encius from the very beginning. Didn't we know that all along? I mean, including Gnosis showing up. Huh? Do you mean that? Sharp. Your orders, Doctor? Encius has always had contingencies in place. I needed to res rescue Arctos and Rotatos. I'm not sure I understand. I need a reason to act, Doctor. This goes beyond my duty to protect you. At this point, Encios is already won. Even if Arctos and Rotatos aren't in danger, Kerrig is bound to undergo tectonic shifts. My duty is to uphold Rhodes Island's interests and protect you. And from a practical standpoint, the things going on here have nothing to do with you, Doctor. Even if Encios wins, no harm would come to you. And you are his guest. From another perspective, he was the one who formed business ties with Rhodes Island. Not the other two plans, let alone Kerrig as a whole. If anything, interfering with NCO's plan is more likely to threaten Rhodes Island's interests as well as put your safety at risk. Fuck, I didn't read it. What I am going to do is prevent wars and save lives. Doctor, people are dying in every corner of the world. You go around committed to saving everyone, genuinely devoting yourself to that cause, you're just going to end up overcome with guilt when you fail. I break with a lot of Rhodes Islands, when I often find myself thinking that saving and protecting lives is kind of pointless. I believe in the victories you bring, and the discernible value that comes with those victories. Carrie's population is in the millions. The people you are talking about aren't just a few, not dozens or hundreds, or but tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands. Is this the victor victory you promised today? Just treat it as overtime. <laughs> Trust me, Sharp. All right, I'll see it done. Gah. Ugh, launching a sneak attack during the chaos? Don't let them get away. Cirrus, Yukatan, hurry. Stop, out of the way. Stand down, Yucatan of the Brown Tail Clan. Become peacefully, the master will treat you mercifully. He has no interest in taking your lives. As long as Russ can get away. Gah! <laughs> Russ, hurry. Sorry. Hurry, Cirrus. Yucatan is still back there. And Monch, too. You're still talking about the assassin, you idiot. She didn't do anything. But Yucatan, what about Yucatan? He's my husband. Look at what's going on around you. Yucatan sacrificed everything to save you. And you plan on jumping back into the fire, so you're going to abandon him? If I was giving up on him, I wouldn't be fighting back. Now stop being a damn fool. Fine, fine, I'll just keep running. Yucatan. That's that. God, where'd these freaks in their weird armor come from? They're NCOs. <laughs> Sir Encio's forces outnumber us too heavily. We're getting overwhelmed. What do we do? There are no cowards in the Paolo Roche clan. Arctos, stop trying to play the hero. We need to team up and cut our way out of here. How do you expect me to live that down? You won't have to say... You don't have a say in the matter if you die here. Damn it. Damn it all! Gulo, gather the warriors and follow me. We're going to break out of here. Yes, sir. Sorry about this. The Shigato already have this place surrounded. You still have the option to surrender before you pass the point of no return. Lackey of NCOs, you speak only lies. We will fight out our way out. I would prefer if you calm down first, you stand no chance. You can't run. Actually, they can. Who's there? A tall man stands in the corner of the entrance of a corridor under the shadows of the eaves. 
behind him, several Shigata, who were supposed to have perimeter secured, lie in the corridor. Out from the shadow strides one of those operators most familiar to Carrier during the time he spent in Rose Island. He knows exactly what it means. You, who are you? You're that doctor's... Why are you saving us? Uh. It's not my job to tell you things. The exit is this way. I've already dealt with the guards outside. Aurora, escort them out. Got it. You aren't getting away. <laughs> ah! Who's next? Try me. Don't do anything rash. Get information. Get information? Just for a single person? Get information. Understood. Very good. Captain Sharp, I'm so sorry. There's no need to apologize to me, Courier. Nothing personal. It's just business. It's finally the calm music again, guys. We can take a breather. Right? <laughs> Captain, you're injured. There were a lot of them, and Courier's blade is still pretty quick. Captain Courier, he... I spared him. Don't worry. So, what's next? We're all done with the work here. On to the next job. How's the Great Elder doing? It's not looking good. Send the Great Elder back to the Vine Bear Court. Sir Encios will arrange for a special doctor. And Great Saintus, Sir Encios has invited you to return to the Vine Bear Court and hold a coronation ceremony again after things have settled down. I know. Enya does not resist. She knows the right th <clears throat> that right now she does not have the leeway to resist. From a certain point onward, he has known that this was all staged farce. And the one who said it in this farce in motion was her own brother. He ruthless ruthlessly shattered all the mental preparations she made for this moment, as well as her vision for the future. This is really good art. I love I I still love the art in this game. It's so pretty. Even if she could take down everyone's, if she, even if she could take down everyone standing in front of her right now, the people would still ask her to take the position that Encio's prepared for her in the Vine Bear Court. She looks all around her. When she sees Matterhorn take notice of her gaze, she deliberately looks away. She sees the combatants, clad in modern, cutting-edge equipment, tearing through the formation of Silver Ash Art Warriors, escorting Arctos and Rotados away. She sees, she sees the eyes of the people focused on Enciodes, like a rapt at audience in front of a theater's master. She sees the hope and fervor in their eyes. She sees Kiar, and she sees the person standing next to her. You. Her eyes meet, your eyes meet, and within them, you see sorrow, reluctance, and fury. All fleeting motions. She finally averts her eyes and takes a step forward. That's sad. Her brother is a dick. <laughs> Forcing all this on her constantly. Master, Rhode Islanders <clears throat> suddenly rushed in to help Sir Arctos and Rotados escape. Dr. Bubba G! You always keep me on my toes. Uh-oh. <laughs> all this happened in the piddling amount of time it took me to suppress Gnosis? I must say, Rhode Island's attack indeed surpassed my expectations. I did consider the possibility of them intervening, but underestimated their strength. This time, it is I whose plan has been forcefully disrupted. Should I go after them? There's no need. I still have a backup plan. Moreover, whether or not those two die here has no bearing on what I'm doing next. Dr. Bobaji should have realized that as much to make a decision like this. What do you think comes next? Assuming this doctor is an impulsive fool, then these two still have a role to play. For what comes next, since you seem to hold this person in such high regard, then it isn't surprising to me that your doctor would take advantage of this opportunity to manipulate the two clans into an obstacle for you. I do not take the doctor for such a flamboyant daredevil. You seem to really understand this doctor. It's just my intuition, my intuition as a chess master. However, an outsider has rescued <clears throat> the heads of the Powell Roche and Brown Tail clans. Even I cannot fathom what one can achieve in this situation. So I am most curious as to what comes next. 
of course, if what you said is true, then I eagerly await our match. Let's just call it a day and shove those thoughts back in our head. In your head. You're the victor of today's mess. Everyone is waiting to hear from your the victor. I know. The scene left behind by the turmoil has not yet been cleaned up, and the people have heatedly have heated converse dis are heatedly discussing what just took place. Just as NCO slowly makes his way <clears throat> to the center stage, everyone stops what they are doing, and they all turn to look at him. The crowd is waiting for him to pen the <laughs> denouement of to this farce. Oh, okay. People of Kyrig, I am so sorry. It pains my heart greatly to see such tragic events unfold on a holy day. But this has given us opportunity to see who the true traitors are in this land of Kerrig. They are none other than Arctos and Rotatos. They were dissatisfied by the changes brought out by my proposal to relinquish our powers and try to assassinate me and poison the Great Elder to seize control of all of Kerrig. Without a doubt, there can be no greater blasphemy to Kerrigander. Though they managed to escape justice just now, I swear that this matter shall not end here. Arctos and Rotatos will be given fair trial without fail. Trial! 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 Though, in my heart, I truly wanted to see these individuals captured and brought to justice, I had no intention of starting a conflict. Karag is the land of Karagander, the land of all who dwell in the icy mountains. It does not belong to me. As such, let it be known to all people of the Palaroch and Browntail clans. There shall be no civil war, as that is something that we are all worried about. Consequently, my Silver Ash Warriors will only be deployed to protect the Vine Bear Court. We will await the Great Elder's recovery, and then discuss Kerrig's future together with the Saintess. But I hope that the people of the Palaroch and Browntail clans can at least clearly see who the true enemies of Kerrig are. I believe that we will surely find a better path forward when all our interests are aligned. When that time comes, we will be able to usher in a better Kyrig. NCOs! 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 Silver Rush! Silver Rush! Silver Rush! People start to chant NCOs name, with no concern for the fact that this celebration has meant to culminate in the Sanctus' return to power. From the mountain summit in the direction of the Vine Bear Court comes the melodious ringing of a bell. Ding, ding, ding. The bell was supposed to celebrate the coronation of the Saintess, but now it seems to herald the coming of revolution. Shit got crazy. Don't tell me that Degenbrecker is the boss. Is Degenbrecker the boss of this one? I'm sorry it took me so long to get back into it. I I was just packed. Doctor, and I wasn't feeling you know good. I wasn't feeling good. I had like my ear infection and then after the ear infection I got sick. Like I was puking a lot. And I think it was caused by the uh antibiotic I was taking. So uh, hopefully I'm better at this point because my ears don't really hurt anymore. They just get itchy every once in a while. This ear in particular. I'm going to get back to a somewhat regular schedule. It's going to be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, starting next week, probably. I'm going to stay with that for a little while. Um, I might go to every weekday, but so far, that's what I'm going to have to do because it's, it's cool. It's just so much work. <laughs> I had 11 assignments due on Sunday and 11 more due this Sunday, so it's just a lot. If you're still enjoying the series, though, like and subscribe. I love having you guys around. Um, also leave a comment on to another story that you guys want to see next. I mean, I could just go back to the start or I'll choose one. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I'll have fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying this a lot. So if you want to see a specific story next, then I'll read that one next. Just leave it in the comments. Or I might go back to the chapters because I do need to finish chapter two, I think, two or four so I can get, uh my base upgraded some more because I need to get it to max level to get the rest of the stuff and whatever. Minecraft is going to be starting up too again. I'm probably going to record that tomorrow and post it on Friday. Um, other than that though, oh shit, actually, thank you to everyone who's subscribed to the channel. I have 
793 subscribers at this point. 91, sorry. I counted wrong. <laughs> and it's crazy because at the start of this year, I didn't have anywhere near that much. One second, let me open it up. Live count. At the start of this year, I had 200 subscribers. We're now at 791. That is a huge increase. And all I can say is thank you to everyone who has subscribed and still watches the videos. It makes me very happy to see people genuinely enjoying the things that I'm doing. Um, it, it really makes me happy, so thank you. Discord's in the comment, or the description, so will be the Ko-Fi. You wanna buy me a coffee? Go on ahead, I'd appreciate it a lot. Other than that though, you better have a good night, and bye bye